Hey guys, the rumors are true. I have been permanently suspended by Twitter. I was given zero reason, only had three tweets on my account. Two of them were promoting my other social media channels, um, which you guys should follow. Taylor Lorenz at Instagram.com, TaylorLorenz.substack.com. Have a new YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I was suddenly logged out. I just had those two tweets and a tweet where I asked. Welcome back. For the first time, the mainstream media is healed. Few days ago, Wikipedia decided to term the suspensions of journalists on Twitter this. Journalists decided to put in this information because it has never happened in history. And this was a great victory. We all saw what happened with Taylor Lorenz, where she got suspended for doxing. When we logged out, I just had those two tweets and a tweet where I asked Elon for comment today, revealing zero information. Um, super crazy. Uh, Elon seems to be banning anyone he disagrees with, and I certainly um, didn't violate any terms that I was aware of. So. Um, that's the story right now, but follow me on Instagram, uh, TikTok, YouTube, pretty much every other social media. I'm just at Taylor Lorenz, <laughs> and I'm here with my fellow band user, Ryan Mack. You know, once you get banned, you have these kind of meetups, um, and so we're at our local meetup. Subscribe to my Substack, please. It's taylorlorenz.substack.com. Um, which is actually preferential t treatment, because most people are banned, I think, three to five strikes is the ban. So um, Libs of TikTok actually enjoyed special treatment from Twitter, which is something that we um, found out from the Twitter files, which I thought was very interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've I always said about Twitter um, that it needs more segmenting and people need to be able to determine their own experience of Twitter because I think that's the majority of the friction on Twitter. It's like, do I want to enter this crazy world where everyone's going to yell at me? Or do I just want to post about like NBA games to my friends? Elon Musk has demonstrated his wisdom by exposing what the mainstream media and the big government are doing. Yesterday, Elon Musk set up a pool. The people should decide if he should step down as Twitter CEO. He was voted out after 12 hours. A lot of people disagree that he should step down. Elon Musk is a human. He has made mistakes and I accepted those mistakes with joy. But there is one thing. If Elon Musk stepping down as a, Elon Musk stepping down it is actually to the detriment of everybody. Elon Musk dominated news within this week. He has been training back and forth. That is to tell you how important Twitter is a center of information in the war because if it wasn't the mainstream media would not be so furious with what is going on remember Elon Musk decided to ban some journalists work journalists when they had to follow up his story concerning this guy tracking his private jet if Twitter was a kind of place they could live the mainstream media by now could be calling to boycott Twitter. But they cannot leave because it is where the information centered. Yesterday, Elon Musk came out with some rules that you are not allowed to share links from Facebook. In fact, he named some platforms you are not allowed. If you do, you'll be banned. Some people had to do this and they got suspended. Elon Musk came out after this and put up this poll. There are some things I want to highlight 
from this video that is to tell you how he is using his wisdom to actually better of the civilization of the world when he started this a lot of people say no twitter is done twitter is now this twitter you know i just had to be silent to observe what was going on but i realized twitter is a center for everything i will read out some articles so you can see exactly what i'm talking about subscribe to my substack please it's taylorlorenz.substack.com let me put in the comments taylorlorenz.substack oh my god we have libs of tiktok in here is that the real libs of tiktok i honestly can't tell you guys will have to tell me um libs of tiktok i've actually never wished suspension on other people let's not let's not get that twisted guys um i have always as i said earlier um i've always actually advocated for a discord like approach to twitter no uh i did not ask twitter to ban you hiya i did not i reported on your account um it's up to twitter what they want to do as you know you got seven strikes um, which is actually preferential t treatment because most people are banned. I think three to five strikes is the ban. So um, Libs of TikTok actually enjoyed special treatment from Twitter, which is something that we um, found out from the Twitter files, which I thought was very interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've I always said about Twitter um, that it needs more segmenting and people need to be able to determine their own experience of Twitter because I think that's the majority. Yes, God bless you for watching me. There is one thing I want to share with you. Yes, going through my comment section, there is something I realize with people. We need to have a voice. So many people are eager to speak, but they are afraid. Yes, some are giving up. Consider the people we are watching today, the big content creators, in some years to come, they will not be there. Yes. They imagine that, okay, everybody's afraid. Meaning that time, we will not have people that will be able to speak up in the society. So, the time is now.